calling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Guess that's why the labels want the rights to me. And fam, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be playing with the new Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. And then we also have the Transforming Skin Perfector. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when these came out, it broke my brain. It made zero sense. I didn't understand it. Mario Divanovic is one of my favorite makeup artist of all time. He's incredible. I like a lot of the products from his line, but this to me just didn't make any sense, okay? Right now, the trend in the makeup world is cream bronzer. So when I saw this, that's what I thought it was. But then as I was kind of watching and seeing how other people were using it and how he was using it, I just kind of thought, okay, this doesn't really make much sense. So I went into Sephora, swatched it, completely overwhelmed the first time I, underwhelmed the first time I saw it. I was just kind of like, what is this gonna do on the skin? I did my short on it. I was just saying how I wasn't really into it. What do y'all think? After that, I had quite a few of you asking, hey, can you review this? We're curious, we don't understand. So of course, that is my duty. I am here to serve you, to let you know what's good in these makeup streets. So I did my live first impression on these and y'all know me, I am a humble queen. I have no problems saying I'm wrong. I have no problems because sometimes I do have to end up eating my words. I like this, okay? Now, with that being said, is this something that I feel like you need? Probably not. However, it is a unique product. So here is what I've come to terms with as far as the skin enhancer, this one, the one that's um, the cream product. Here's how I think about it. You have your cream bronzers, right? We have e.l.f. cream bronzer, we have Charlotte Tilbury, there's NARS, Anastasia. You have all of those, they pack a punch. This is what I would call the skin tint of cream bronzers, okay? So this is perfect for what, this is just what I would do and what I've been doing. This is a, what I would call, you can incorporate this to your makeup, no makeup look. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I am calling it the skin tint of <laughs> cream bronzers, I think it's only appropriate that we actually use a skin tint on the face. So who is texting me? Jesus, I'm working. I'm busy, baby. Let me just go ahead and put this phone on do not disturb. Cause instantly overwhelmed, instantly with all the messages I just got coming through. Okay. so. Um, because I am going to be using this cream product, cream products are tricky on my skin just simply because sometimes they can just make my pores look larger than life and I have been having some serious uh, pore situations going on these days. So I'm just going to slide this on in that area. This is the Milk Makeup, the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. If you've been watching for a while, you know that I don't really consider mattifying primers necessary. Um, I've just been trying it out because I've been dab dabbling in milk makeup products and like I said, my pores are out of control. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and go in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade 20. And on my eyes, I have, I just picked this up today. This is the ColourPop Such A Rush. I love these colors. So it's technically a cheek palette, however, this is perfect for me just for like the everyday eye situation. So that's what's on my eyes. And I bought it with the intention of using it on my eyes. So we're not going in with the heavy, heavy beat today. I forgot how dope this eavesdrop is. Again, you're not gonna get crazy coverage, but I just feel like for what it is, it's pretty freaking good. It is late. I never filmed this late. However, you know, we just, these days, we just getting it in where we can. <laughs> All right, so that's just enough to basically, you know, make the overall skin look even, add a little color to it. And voila, I like this formula because it is a soft matte. 
a lot of skin tints tend to be a dewy finish and I got my own built-in dew. <laughs> However, I am over trying to work against my dew anymore. I'm just kind of like, you know what? You naturally have dewy skin. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna embrace it. It is what it is. And then for concealer, I don't want anything too heavy because like I said, this is just like a lighter makeup, no makeup look, if you will. However, I just grabbed this new Huda Beauty faux filter concealer. Um, Huda Beauty, I absolutely love the Matte Luminous Foundation. I use those on my clients in my client kit. This is smaller than what I was expecting. So this is the faux filter concealer in the shade Butterscotch 7.5G. I'm only going to put a dab in because if you're familiar with Huda, you know everything she does is just full on coverage and that's not what I want today. Well, that's an interesting undertone. Huh. It's supposed to be golden, but it looks red on me. Interesting, okay. I think I might need a lighter shade as well. Well, it just depends on what I'm trying to do. Blends out great. And I, recently I've been using my finger to blend out my concealer. I don't know. I just like that better. I feel like I'm just pressing it into my creases. <laughs> And it makes it last better. Okay, I didn't go in full on, full on, because like I said, I don't want. That is so interesting to me. This is pulling really, it's pulling red to me and it's supposed to be golden. Interesting. Yeah, 7.5G, okay, whatever. Let me see, I have to travel this weekend. Um, I'm working in Vegas, so. I'm gonna bring this with me and just kind of test it out and see. Is that my dog? No, that's not my dog. <laughs> Typically, I take, I don't even film this part whenever I'm reviewing a specific product. However, someone's always asking me what's on my face, so. All right, so what I've been doing is the same brush I use for my foundation, just a flat top kabuki brush. Just gonna swirl on in there and then I'm just going to start at the highest point of my cheeks and just bring it back oh and the shade that I have is dark whose pity is that that scared me I just saw a black pit bull run by and my youngest one is a black pity so thought for a second he got out okay <laughs> This portion of the video is sponsored by me, Amber P. Are you new to makeup? Is makeup a little bit of a tricky, dicey area for you? Are you maybe not sure about your skin prep? Do you have a hard time with your foundation shade matching? Or maybe you don't even know what formula is for you. Or is it eyeshadow? Should you be doing matte, shimmer? All those things I can help you with check out my Keep It Simple Makeup Guide. In my makeup guide, I go over everything from skin prep, concealer, foundation, eyeshadow, lip products, all the basics, but it's made simple. To purchase yours, all you have to do is hit the link down below and it will be emailed directly to you. Of course, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm your girl and I will help you out. So of course, if you do, have drier skin, you could just leave this as is. And I do feel like that is part of the allure with this product is that it does, I mean, it enhances your skin. You know, the whole, we have the nice undertone of the color. I do love the undertone of the color, but then it does add this nice shine, not shine, this nice glow to the skin. However, I, I gotta set it because the way Amber P's skin is set up, y'all, yeah, we, we, we can't, we just can't. I wish I could. I really wish I could just leave it as is. However, know thyself. And that's the thing. You got to do what works best for you. You know what I mean? My, I always say, know the rules of makeup so then that way you can break them. Because there are always 
exceptions to the rules. Like, personally me, I think a makeup rule, you should never wear blue eyeshadow and red lipstick. You see it all the time on 4th of July, I think it's tacky AF. However, if you wanna do it, go for it. <laughs> see how beautiful that is? Stunning. However, I cannot leave it like this. So what I am going to do now is, I'm going to set it, but I'm going to set it with this. So this is the Skin Perfector in dark. Both of these are in dark. And what I like to do is, for the top of my forehead, I like to get more of this bronzer shade right here. And then I'm just gonna set that area, because y'all know, sis has more than a five head. This is like an eight head up here, but that's okay though. That is okay. Tyra Banks put the five head girls on the scene, on the map, baby. Thank you, Miss Tyra. <laughs> And now I'll just kind of swirl. And I like doing this with a fan brush to set. And so with this, it's going to take down that dewy glowiness, but the illuminator up here is going to add the glow back in without it looking too overly dewy. And my favorite, favorite way to wear these are on my bare skin. So I'll just put on a little concealer under my eyes, set my whole face with powder, put this on, set it, and we good. I just think this looks so, so pretty. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of my face, I am just going to take some Laura Mercier translucent deep to set the rest of my face. I'm going to take it, being strategic, going right under here, right around. I don't want to put the Laura Mercier powder over top of the Mario. Voila, let me just throw on some mascara, lip product, and then we'll close it out. Okay, I am back and here is our completed look. I love it. Very simple, warm, bronzy, easy, heavy on the easy. I love it. Everything that is on my face is in the description box down below with all the links. Always, 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 even if it's a video where I'm just talking about a product, I always have a section in the description box that says, what's on my face? Everything's always in there, okay? So, let's talk about it. These skin enhancers by Makeup by Mario, do you need it? Probably not, okay? And here's why. If you have already gotten Charlotte Tilbury, if you've already gotten NARS Laguna, you don't need it, and here's why. All you have to do is just pull back on how much of the product that you're going to use. Now, if you don't have any of those, or here's the thing, this is the, this is the one thing that is different about the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, the tone. The tone of it is, the undertone's different. I, I truly feel, that is what makes this special. It is very warm, but it's warm without being too red. Charlotte Tilbury number three is warm, but it's more brown, okay? So you have to be careful with that one because if you are someone that maybe is a little bit lighter than me, I can see how that would look muddy on you. Three is fine for me right now. I'll show y'all because I have it. <laughs> So three is fine for me right now because I haven't got, I haven't been in the sun that much, so it works. So three is going to be more brown. If you want to see, you know, a lot of swatches with all the cream bronzers, I'll make sure to leave my cream bronzer video in the description box because I feel like that is one of the greatest videos I have ever created personally. Let me like toot my own horn, beep beep. Mm -hmm. So check that out. But that is the Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, it is more brown. And then the NARS Laguna is warmer. 
but it has more red in it. So this is our Nars Laguna, and then this here is the Charlotte Tilbury. Now, the thing with the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer is when you swatch it, it's very underwhelming. You're just kind of like, what is this? I don't understand it. That is what threw me off about it initially. So I'll go ahead, and even when you get like a pretty hefty swatch, it still doesn't even... Can you guys see that? So this is the Makeup by Mario. Obviously you can see it is way more glowier. NARS Laguna, this is the deepest out of all of them. This pulls more red warm. And then we have Charlotte Tilbury. This is gonna be more brown. Now you see the undertone. Hopefully y'all can see this. Do you see the undertone with the Makeup by Mario? How different it is from these two? That is what makes this product very special the undertone. So of course, I can't tell y'all what to do with your coins. However, I don't want y'all going out here buying all the cream bronzers. So if you like something that is a little bit more glowier, a little bit more dewier, and you don't have any of these, and you want something that doesn't pack too much of a punch, but just enough, then the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer is going to be for you. Now you're probably thinking, what about us oily skin girls? I am oily, it, is, it was 102 degrees here in Charlotte yesterday, and this works, okay? You just gotta make sure that you set it with the powder. So if you don't wanna deal with any of these at all, use whatever cream bronzer that you have, just pull back, pull back on how much you apply, and then set it with another powder bronzer mixed in with some highlight, and you'll be able to get the same look, okay? So I hope that helps you. If you were curious about it, if you have any questions about it whatsoever, make sure, leave it down below. Tell me, are you gonna grab it? Are you gonna pass? I was 100% wrong. I did not think I was gonna like this product at all. I like it a lot. So you guys know the deal. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.